why, why sail off into the sunset now? Well, it's hard, especially when the business is performing so well. But uh, at the same time, I've been with Valvoline, leading Valvoline now for 21 years. And uh, we've been through a big transformation and we've got a great successor in place in Lori Fleece. I just feel like now is the right time to make this change. Certainly. When I think of Valvoline as the oil change company, what am I missing? What is it really? We're all about preventive maintenance. And so not just oil changes, but making sure your car is safe and ready for the road. And uh, we built our model around delivering a quick, easy, trusted experience across all of our 1,800 plus stores. And uh, it's what's led to 17, 17 straight years of same store sales growth. So we're proud of uh, our track record and what we're doing, but we're real excited about where we're going with this business. You know, I'm going to kind of flip to the other part. You know, you're trying to prevent people from needing to go, I guess, to an auto zone or an auto nation, uh, advance auto with a problem. Um, but can you talk a little bit about the competitive dynamics in this marketplace right now where there seems to be, we had, you know, because everything got confusing during the pandemic, a huge rush for cars, prices went way up. Um, now, I guess people are just trying to figure out how to hang on to them. Um, just talk to me a little bit about the economics these days. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, the price of both new cars and used cars has gone up significantly. And as a result, people are hanging on to the cars longer. The average age of a car is now over 13 years. So wow. it means that preventive maintenance is just that much more important. And so that's our sweet spot is taking care of cars, doing the preventive maintenance, the quick, easy, trusted services that people rely on us for. And, uh, you know, that demand for convenience just keeps on growing, you know, especially here in the U.S. People want to make sure that you know, they're having the service done at a location where they, they know that the people are well trained and doing the job right, but they can do it quick and fast, make it convenient for them. That's what is really driving the performance in our business, our ability to do that consistently across our system. Yeah, you know, I think you guys could be a candidate for kind of, um, you know, under the radar economic indicator, because I have to imagine when times get a little tough, people might hold off on things like preventative maintenance. You know, you got to take care of the emergency before you can prevent it. It, are you seeing anything now? Your trends look pretty good. You just raised your guidance. Are you seeing any signs that consumers are kind of, you know, pulling back a bit? You know, not at all. And th this is what's so great about our business and being in preventive maintenance, because the consumers don't pull back on preventive maintenance. When they know that they're not going to be buying that new car, they know it's that much more important to take care of the car that they have, that they rely on to get to work, to get the kids to school. And so uh, we're in a sweet spot where even when the economy slows a bit or people's pocketbooks might be pinched, it doesn't impact our performance. And so it's all about, you know, bringing that value to our customers each day. And that's, again, back to convenience and getting those those uh, simple tasks done that keep that car, you know, ready for the road. What's the highest margin part of the business? And what's it been like dealing with labor costs and availability the last couple of years? Yeah, this business is, you know, carries very strong margins. And so our EBITDA margins are in the mid 20% range and continue to grow as we grow volume and create leverage in the system. And so across all of our services, it carries a good margin. Yes, labor has gone up significantly over the past few years. And so it's important then that we manage labor efficiently and that we capture that leverage in our margins as we grow that top line. So the quarter that we just reported, you know, as the graphic shows here, revenues up 19% profit uh, EBITDA was up um, 28, was close to 28%. So the business performance, you know, is really strong this year. And, you know, again, we're bullish on what we can do in the years ahead. Yeah, and you've sold that parts business to Aramco recently. Um, so what would you say if you had to kind of summarize your tenure, what was the goal for Valvoline? And what do you think the, the next uh, sort of period of leadership will, will want the company to look like and feel like? Yeah, in the past, you know, we've grown a really solid business and, you know, we took it through an IPO and a separation from Ashland back in 2016. And since then, you know, we invested aggressively in the growth of the retail business. That product side of the business uh, that we sold, you know, generated a lot of cash and that was poured into the retail business. And we've taken our stores from roughly um, a little over a thousand stores in 2016 to over 1800 stores today. We believe that number is going to go to 3,500 stores as we continue to invest in that growth, along with our franchisees, expecting to grow to 3,500 stores, you know, close to the end of the decade. So um, that's where we're going next is not just driving, you know, strong same store sales performance, but continuing to build our network. We're only reaching about, you know, we have about a 5% share of the preventive maintenance business today. 
And our stores reach about 30% of the households um, that are, say, within a 10 mile driving distance. And so that number, you know, has got a lot of room for growth. Yeah. And so as we add network growth, the same store sales performance, evolve our business model over time, you know, it, it is a, a really strong business model. And that's the challenge for Lori and the team is to keep that momentum going and uh, deliver on the opportunity.